Hey guys, so um, it's an absolutely gorgeous day, as you can see, blue skies. It's sweltering in my car. Um, I actually had a coat on and I've taken it off. But today we're going to do a little vlog because we haven't done a little vlog in a while. So stick around if you want to come shopping with me, a little mooch around. Obviously following the lockdown rules, but yeah, come along with me. Hi guys, it's Becky. Welcome to my channel. I mainly do plus size fashion and beauty, uh, but today we're going to do that lifestyle that I always tag on the end. Um, yes, I've got to go get some petrol. That's the first thing we're going to do. Um, I've got to pick up a parcel from Boots and I'll show you what I picked up. Might go into Superdrug as well, see what new bits and bobs they've got. They've always got the best deals in Superdrug, haven't they, with makeup and perfume. So I'll probably have a look there. Then um, I'm going to go to Sainsbury's because so many of you guys have asked me to do a Tui clothes haul. Um, so I want to go to Sainsbury's and have a look at the clothes, pick up some bits of food as well while I'm there. And I also want to get my mum a secret bunch of flowers because, guys, it is now 2.30. <laughs> We've been filming all morning. As a lot of you know, my mum helps me out behind the scenes. Um, she helps me with all the filming of the clothing like when i try the clothes on um she like presses the button and does a little bit of um commentary um but she kind of just gives me some guidance so it was a long one today it was like two hours of just non-stop clothing so i want to pick up a little bunch of flowers from sane's bobs as a little thank you we haven't got any flowers in the house at the moment so i think it's a perfect day to pick some up so yeah that's the plan uh please subscribe if you haven't already i'm really excited to be doing vlogs again i absolutely love doing vlogs they're so fun um i just thought it'd be fun today just to have a little moochie around um yeah i'm really looking forward to today absolutely gorgeous day i'm gonna put the window well the window is already down um also this top is in uh either it's been live or it's an upcoming sheen haul and then i got bloody lipstick on it didn't i bloody white blouse and what lipstick on it oh what calamity anyway oh my nails as well how nice do they look anyway let's get to the petrol i'm not probably going to show you the petrol station to be honest that is a bit shit that's a bit boring um but i will probably catch up with you in hive i might get a little frappuccino from costa there if the queue's not too long <laughs> see you soon oh my god guys i had absolute mare uh, my battery was totally flat so i was literally like oh gotta go to the shops and then flat so my mum had to jump start the car it's just because i haven't been out in so long like the last time i went out in this car was probably a month ago uh -oh. um and she was like oh you should check that your car will start and i was like it will start it will be fine my battery is definitely not holding charge anymore so maybe it needs a new battery i don't know um but also i had like zero petrol like it was blinking like i have a peugeot 107 and um there's like two stages of blinking there's like the first like slow blinking for when you're like empty and then there's like fast blinking i was only on the first blinking um just check my mirrors um so yeah i was only on the stage of the first blinking and um my mum was like you need to go to a petrol station that's further away and i was like oh my god I don't think there's that much like at all like I imagine it's like getting to the end of the slow blink <laughs> um so oh, okay can't be uncool um so yeah so I drove to a further petrol station but I was getting fast fast blink and I could like, like the car feels really like oh was, the, the car just cut me up just threw out their fag end onto my car brilliant so gross um, oh god, he's such a dickhead driver, you can just tell. Oh, people just need to slow down, it's a nice day, we don't need any accidents. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, the sun is insane, you can't hardly see me. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, got to Morrison's um, petrol station and... Um, um, yeah, 
much more since petrol station filled up. Oh my god, the price of petrol shot up, shot up, hasn't it? Absolutely insane now. Um, yes, yeah, so if my tank is now completely full, um, but literally my car just started. Like I was literally like, pray, like literally said a prayer. I'm not even religious, and I said a prayer. Uh, <laughs> um, I was like, please start, because it'd be so embarrassing if it doesn't. Um, and it did just about start. So I have scrapped going to Hive first, that's where Boots is. And I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's, which is kind of the other side of where I live. Um, it's a really nice Sainsbury's. Uh, I think they have quite a big clothing department. Um, and there's also an uh, MS food there as well. I love MS food. I don't think I will go to MS food today just because it's like the other side of the car park. Like it's a really long walk. Um, so yeah, that's the drama that's happening at the change pattern. I'm also buying myself a little drink when I get to Sainsbury's because I am so thirsty. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you, talk to you in a bit. So guys, I'm at Sainsbury's now. Um, I am just praying that the car will start when I leave. Um, so let me just show you my little like mask hack in a way. And um, I bought these little <laughs> lot. They look kind of weird, but basically you put them in your mask. I've got one of these like little silk masks here. Um, you put it in your mask and it just means it like basically protrudes away from your face but you're still covered so you don't get claustrophobic or your glasses don't steam up but it's still obviously protecting you and people around you so um, yeah highly recommend these I'll link them down below I got them on Shein I imagine you can probably find them on eBay like UK sellers and stuff but they're probably selling them for like a rip off I've got a pack of six for 99 pence so yeah really good and i'm gonna go find a little trolley this woman has lost her car <laughs> bless her um i'm gonna go get a trolley um try and be as socially distant as possible obviously it's a saturday so like it's a little bit busy um but yeah try and be as safe as possible got my mask got my handbag ready to rock and roll so we've got a pretty big um like a clothing section how cute is this? Little printed, £4.50. Such a good price. Love this. I love the colour. It's her pounds. Little dress. Pop that in. I feel like there's going to be quite a lot that I like. <laughs> That's quite cute, that dress, but it's quite straight up and down. I am a sucker for dresses at the moment, like I love this one here, there's lots of really nice things. I've noticed they've got some size 26s here, not really my cup of tea that design. I've got a 22 and this nice striped top. Guys, this clothing section is enormous. Oh my god, I love this. This is so cute. I saw this on the website. I don't think they have um they have it in a 20, but it looks quite small. So I think I'll skip them. That's quite cute though, with all the flowers on. That's in a 22. Might pick that up. Oh my God, these trousers. They're so fluffy. They're really cute. Lots of nice jumpers and hoodies. Ooh. I think that's like matching a matching hoodie to that um, those fluffy trousers. Love this jumper with the gold details. 
looking very cute. Oh, this one's a bit of me and it goes up to a 26. This one here, 15 pound. I love that. Can you see? There is so much to look at. Oh, well, I noticed this from when we were um, doing that George haul, but in Peach. Oh, this is the petite section. Uh, it looks like we go up to a size 20 in petite, which is pretty good. Most time they only go up to like 14. <laughs> Oh, this is cute, but a bit more work wary. That's a really nice leather jacket. It looks um, almost like real leather. It's really, really soft. And that's only £35. And they have it up to a, a 22 there in the back. Also, don't worry, guys, I have sanitised my hands. Ooh was really interrupted by like a tannoy <laughs> announcement uh, but they've got some really cute tops like this one lips like lips is obviously a really big theme i love i love this one it says love and it's um embroidered as well it's not just a transfer i also love this gradient pink i am a sucker for pink so much um also some really nice white t-shirts what size do you get? 24. Hey, I might give this a go because I've really been looking for some like quality white t-shirts and that's only 350. Guys, the car is filling up. Some really cute like springy like jumpers and stuff. I love this detail. I think it's so cute. 15 pounds. Some really fun florals. This jumper is so cute. Little daisies on. I love the print of that skirt as well. We're in the pyjama aisle. There's some really funny um, Ross and Rachel PJs and some Pivot PJs. I already have some friends PJs. <laughs> I don't probably need any more. I love these um, these PJ shops, but I think they're quite expensive if they're just the top on their own. What does that come with? Oh, I think they're meant to come with bottoms, but they're missing them. But if I liked yoga, <laughs> I'd probably get them. This one says pajama yoga. I really like these kind of like 70s font style. They've got loads of PJs. These ones are really cute with the cat. I wish they did like something a bit more modern. Is it like a jersey? Oh, it's quite thick. 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 Lots of nice bon -ri. It's really cute. Oh my god, I love this one. This one's probably my favourite pair. The Pajama Club. And some of little polka dot. They have a 22. I think I'm gonna get myself them. The home section is always amazing in Sainsbury's. I love these little mini planters. This little pot that says Be Wild. I think Sainsbury's is becoming a bit like a target. Oh my god, screaming babies. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my god. I love that like navy little poof and those quite stylish tables as well. Yeah, it's getting to be more and more like a, a target that you'd have in the US, um, but a lot smaller in terms of the amount of products. Ooh, look at all this green stuff. I love that grey poof more. I think that one's nicer. I love all this greenery, but I am a sucker for pink. This one is so nice. I love this colour scheme. I feel like the next flat I move to, I might like redo all my decor and do it this kind of colour because I love the greys and the pinks and I love this pillow. Oh, 
and that's 16 pounds which i think if you're just getting like one or two uh, it's a really good price to like jazz up the home guys have you ever seen one of these lint pick and mix stands i've never seen one of these before wow obviously salted camera is the most popular <laughs> Uh, this same space is absolutely massive. It's actually quite daunting. <laughs> but as the flowers have been like totally picked over, but I saw these ones and I thought they were really cute. Not too expensive, but I feel like you get a really nice variety. So I'm gonna work out which is the, the nicest bunch. So guys, a very successful Chewy clothing haul achieved also picked up some foodie bits but i also forgot some foodie bits so i'm gonna have to go to waitrose when i'm in hive i've got myself some lunch even though it is 10 to 4 oh my god i am gonna have to get a groove on um to get to hive in time before boots closes um but i am quite hungry and i haven't had like a supermarket sandwich <laughs> in so long i've got salmon and cream cheese obviously classic Mm. Mm. I'll hide myself eating behind my sandwich. I also got some pop chips in barbecue, um, but I'm probably just going to save them for a snack later. Mm. Mm. It's been a day of uh, sandwiches. I had a, a egg sandwich for breakfast at about... 9 30 this morning so it's been six hours and i'm not eating anything other than that sandwich mm. i needed this to sustain me but i also bought loads of like naughty things in there because i was hungry i know mm. so <laughs> I'm trying to be really like delicate about eating my sandwich but i'm like so not um but yeah that two-week clothing haul will be coming up i tried not to show you everything i bought because of this noise that would ruin the surprise um this sainsbury's at hedge end is absolutely insane it's so big it's kind of overwhelming it's that big i feel like it'd be a great place to go like really late one like weekday evening when no one is there um so you can just like look around the aisles and just take your time whereas today it's saturday it was absolutely manic mm. <laughs> yeah it was totally crazy um i also got this uh vit hit leading green this one's actually my favorite one i don't normally like <laughs> green things um but this is apple and elderflower and it's absolutely delicious i don't know if it actually does any good but i just like the taste mm. it's really refreshing but it's not too sour it's sweet it's like perfect it's perfect between sharp and sour and sweet really good um it's apparently got mate tea and alcarnite and it's only 35 calories a bottle which is perfect perfect perfection and um, i hope you're enjoying this little kind of like chatty vlog <laughs> i'm trying to wolf down this sandwich because i haven't got long and obviously i don't want to be breaking the law because there's a lot of um roadworks around hedge end like motorway what's the bloody motorway the um Free? No, it's not the M3. I can't remember what this motorway is called. But there's loads of road work, so it's um 50 mile an hour average speed limit check. So I do have to keep an eye on the speedometer. Mm. So to all my um followers that aren't from the uk sainsbury's is kind of a middle slash higher end supermarket 
we have like Lidl and Audi. I think you have Audi in the States. Um, it's a, the German, like super cheap um, supermarkets, really good for like ingredients and stuff. Then we've got Asda, which is like a Walmart. It's, it used to be owned by Walmart, but then I think someone's recently bought it, complicated. Then there's Tesco's and Sainsbury's. And they're kind of in the same kind of, oh, and there's Morrison's as well. I say Morrison's is kind of just above Asda. Obviously this is all my personal opinion and it's a very Northern, it's a very Northern supermarket. Um, yeah, Tesco's and Sainsbury's are kind of very similar. I think um, Sainsbury's has a lot nicer clothing and um, homewares where I think I prefer Tesco's food, which to be honest is a supermarket. Um, I think also Sainsbury's food is quite like a lot more expensive and they don't have as many offers as Tesco's. And then we have Waitrose, which is where they say all the middle class shop. It's quite expensive. Um, the Duke of Edinburgh has an organic range of food in Waitrose. It's that kind of thing. And, and then we have m and food, which, oh, I love m and food. It's just amazing, like ready meals and, it's like if you want to have a little fancy, little fancy treat. Mm, I love m &S. But I just like looking around supermarkets. I don't know about anyone else. Me and JP, on a Sunday, we would just go to a supermarket and have a look around. Mm. There's just something quite, um, we like we like to explore foods and cuisines in both households when i'm with jp and with my parents we like to try lots of different things try different you know drinks maybe on the market or whatever and um yeah just like to explore new things see what offers are on and oh my god guys who loves the reduced section oh my god um, I love getting a bargain. I love getting, I'd say it has to be at least 50% off before I consider buying it. Cause at the end of the day, you're doing Sainsbury's a favor. Cause otherwise they'd just be throwing it away. So um, yeah, it has to be 50% or over. What's your kind of lowest threshold for the reduced section? I feel like shops aren't, are getting less and less generous with their reductions. Like, I remember back in the day we used to get like 70% off like quite a few bits like we'd find a lot of bargains but now you're lucky if it's 50. I'm gonna finish the rest of this sandwich and I'll probably catch you when I'm in Hive. Got my portal. Guys the sun is starting to set and I'm knackered. I really enjoyed my little afternoon out. I feel like I haven't an afternoon out in ages it's been nice to have like lots of things i need to do it feels so me back to normal um yeah so i'll just show you what i picked up from boots oh. um i've just got one more stop today and then i'm going home i've just got to drop some parcels off at my local my homies parcel drop off point <laughs> you can tell i'm tired guys because i'm just talking shit. um so first up we've got the nyx marshmallow primer um so boots do 10 pound tuesdays five pound fridays <sighs> That is like, I am loving all the discounts and deals Boots are coming out with at the moment. Um, I feel like ever ever since Walgreens bought them and like took them over, they've been getting some really good offers. Um, so this wasn't the most incredible offer. I've got a really good offer. Um, this was 10 pounds from 15, but it's such a new hyped product um, that I was surprised that it was uh, in a sale. Um, I'm really excited to try it. I love the smell of marshmallow. I was shocked there. Fat girl likes the sweetie scents. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very excited to try it. Also, love the millennial pink packaging. Love that. And then the bargain of the £10 Tuesdays was this MAC Fix Plus Magic Radiance. So this came out maybe a year ago. I feel like I was on the bus when I saw Trend Mood post about this. Um, 
And if I was on the bus, I was going to work. And if I was going to work, that was before COVID. So that was about a year ago. And basically, it's a Fix Plus with um, some like added oils and vitamin C for radiance. So it's going to be quite like a dewy spray, um, which is, I, was, I don't know how much more dewy you can get compared to the original, um, but I love the bottle, it's like holographic. Um, so that was £10 from like 20 something. Um, really, really pleased, I adore Fix Plus. I go through so many bottles. I think I've backed to MAC like six bottles. <laughs> like it's the only setting spray I um, use. I feel like you're either an Urban Decay All Nighter fan or you're a MAC Fix Plus fan. Like you're one or the other. Um, and I am a MAC Fix Plus girl. Oh my god, I don't know what happened to my voice then. Um, I like Urban Decay setting spray, but I feel like I don't notice the same difference that I do with this. Like this, I use with my eyeshadows, I use this with um with my makeup. Like I have so many uses for these. Whereas I think like obviously um all nighter is just like setting spray. Um, and I quite like the Morphe setting spray for like actually setting my face. Um, and that's all I got. It wasn't crazy, but you have to spend £20 to get in-store delivery and £30 for actual delivery, I think. And I'm a little bit like, pff, most places you just get in-store delivery, probably. Um, but whatever, like, it was such a good deal. Um, so yeah, always, always have a... Ow! I just hurt my hand on my sandwich carton. Always have a look out for those offers on Boots. So good. And you can use your, like, Boots Advantage card points. Mm. Mm. thirsty um you can also use um any like boots online vouchers you have but most of them are in store and this whole deal is like online only which is all thirsty mm. oh, and i recommend going to check before noon because the good stuff always sells out um there's been some crazy deals on there. I know there was like a Ola Hendrickson fat facial for like £10. And I think it was normally like 50 quid. That sold out like straight away. Um, what else has there been? There's been uh, a lot of like Kat Von D or like KVD, Vegan Beauty, whatever they call it now. Um, a lot of Soap and Glory. Always a lot of Soap and Glory on there. Ole. Ole's always got, especially like their whipped moisturizers i've always wanted to try one of them but whenever i've gone to look it's like one that's not quite suited to my skin so i'm definitely going to keep an eye out because anything whipped gets me and i don't know why i think it's because i like whipped cream <laughs> um so guys i think i'm gonna oh no i'm gonna give my mum the flowers and see her reaction and then i'll end the vlog so gonna drive to my parcel drop off gonna drop off my parcel I'm gonna, go home. I'm gonna sleep so well tonight i'm not used to doing this much stuff and as you can see i can talk a lot i can talk a lot even by myself <laughs> all right guys i will see you soon um for the flower giving ceremony Yeah, you do. Oh, no. But the flowers look nice. Oh, that's okay. Thank you for having me with all the filming. No, 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 no. Don't look, don't look at the price. I won't. They were cheap. <laughs> Are they reduced? No, I paid full price. They were just at a good value. Yeah, that's fine. It is a good value, isn't it? It's very pretty. We've got lots of different. It's called Spring Posy, if any of you care. From Sainsbury's. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Oh, I don't look rubbish. Why would you tell you me this? Well, it's a surprise! Surprise! <laughs> so, guys, that is the end of the vlog. Oh, uh, Mummy looks rubbish. Oh, you'll look better in the next one. <laughs> she never gives me notice. But it, it was a surprise. Oh, no, what it was a surprise. Next time. It was a surprise. Look at her. She looks so glamorous, and I look like shite. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> on that note, uh, please like, subscribe.
<laughs> oh. Not just buy it. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Yeah, press that button. Bye. Bye. Press that button. All the buttons. Not, not the, all not, the buttons. but not the thumbs down. Not the thumbs no, down. no, no, no. Not the thumbs down. The thumbs up. Thumbs up. Right. Bye. Bye.